people are welcome back to brand new video and on this video i'm gonna be showing you how you can get root ss on your android device without using a computer without using any custom recovery like ttap urb or anything like that without unlocking the bootloader of course the bootloader of your android device easy and simple so before the video i want to ask you if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel activate the notification to get notified about new video and let's get started so as I just said, I'm going to be showing you how you can get root access on your Android device without using a computer, without using any custom recover like CTAB URB, without unlocking the bootloader of your Android device, which is pretty easy to do, without having your device easy and simple. So first of all, we are going to make some changes on your Android device to make a, the application that we are going to be using to get root access on our Android device to make it work faster. So we need to make some changes on your Android device. Group. Go to setting of your Android device, scroll down to the last option about phone or about device. About phone, we need to unlock the developer option. I have you already unlocked it. I'm going to be showing you how you can do that, how you can unlock the developer option. Go to about phone, yeah. Find this option saying build the number, click on it around saving time to activate the developer option. Click on build the number around saving time. By doing that, you will unlock the developer option. As you can see, I have you already unlocked the developer option. All right, unlock the developer option. By doing that, you will find that there on your setting, the list of your setting, you will find that the developer option unlock it. If you can't find this option, the developer option, just click it out over here in the corner and the cheesy icon right over here. By doing that, uh, you will be able to tease what you wanna developer option clicking on it by doing that it will open this window if your it is disabled just like mine right over here just make sure to enable by clicking right over here in the corner in this icon to enable the developer option clicking ok if you ask you don't need to worry about it all right this is a step to 100 your device it's pretty easy to do it's pretty simple it's pretty safe so scroll down, find this, I'll find this option saying USB the working mode, this one over here. Make sure to enable this option by clicking right over here in the corner and this icon to enable it. Click OK if it ask you. Scroll down. Alright. Here on window animation skill right over here, you need to disable the animation, put the animation off. Transition animation, put the animation off as well. Animator duration to the same process, put the animation off. For CGB injury, you need to enable this option as well. Make sure to enable by clicking right over here in the corner. Now, I am going to be showing you that I don't have root access on my Android device. To do that, I'm going to be using this application called the root shaker. The link will be available on the description of this video in case you want to know as well if your phone has root access or not. The link will be available on the description of this application will be available in the description of this video it's a it's a simple application where you're going to just click it out over here on verify route by doing that the application will verify and it's going to tell you if your phone have root access or not clicking on it as you can see sorry root access is not properly installed on this device now you need to download the application that i'm going to be using to get root access on my android device I mean, first of all, you need to download this application because the AP that I'm gonna be using to get root access on my Android device is going to be a zip. You need you need this application to extract the app. So get this application on Play Store. It's gonna be available there to use to extract the file, the application that we are going to be using. Right. So you can see, download this application to extract the application that I'm gonna be using to a get root access on my android device extract i mean download this application open it up it's gonna be just like this uh, now you need to download the application that i'm gonna be using to get root access on my android device the link will be available in the description of this video the link of this application as i just said it's gonna be zip you need this application to extract to extract with this application just type it on it by doing that it will open this window just to click it out over here extract as you can see the file has password the passwords will be available in the description of this video as well 
the fire is now extracting what you have to do just to be patient and wait it won't take too long all right all right the archive now is extracted once the extraction is complete it's gonna be created another folder just like this as you can see clicking on it and they will find this a uh, application the sent box the premium mod the link will be available in the description what you're going to do just install this application on your android device it doesn't have virus it's one hard in your device it's pretty simple it's pretty easy to use just install on your android device and open it up All right, install the application on your Android device, open it up. Click right over here on agree to the terms of condition, give you all the permission to the application. While you install the application, it might show up this pop-up or you could just click right over here, go to Siri to give you all the control to the application, give you all the permission to the app and return. By doing that, the application will start initializing. What you have to do is just to be patient and wait a little bit. It just won't take it, it won't take too long, just one minute or two minutes, depending on your device. All right, as you can see, uh, the application has initialized. It's going to be just like this. What you're going to do, you're going to make some change on this emulator. To do that, just click it out over here on setting. Click it out over here on setting icon. We are going to enable some, some stuff here. Scroll down to the last option about phone or about device. It's probably going to be about phone. The last option, click it on it. Find the building number. It's going to be available on the last option will the number click on it around seven time to activate the developer option you are now a developer just to return all right by doing that you will have there the developer option unlock it on your setting so it is available right over here click on it on developer option Make sure to enable the USB debugging mode by clicking that over here in the corner to enable it as we did on the start Click OK. If you ask you scroll down, you need to disable the window animation skill, put the animation off, do the same process on transition animation, put the animation off, animator treasure, do the same process. Make sure to enable this option as well for CGPU rendering. Alright, let's return by now. Okay, now I'm gonna be using the root shaker to find out if it have root SS or not. To do that, to install application on this system, just click right over here on this uh, application. At the apes, click on it. By doing that, you will have there uh, all the application which are installed on your Android device. Just select the one that you want to install to the send the port over here on it by doing that the application will start to be installed on the new system just to wait a little bit as you can see the application is now is installed just to return as you can see we have installed the root shaker open it up the root shaker click on agree right over here to proceed Swap to the right, swap to the right one more time to proceed and click right over here on get it started. Alright, the process is the same, just to click right over here on verify root. As you can see, super user requesting me it says if this is happening to you as well, just to click right over here on the last option. Remember, choose it forever, right over here, and click right over here on LR right over here in the corner. Congratulations, Ruti SS is probably installed on this device. Easy and simple. Without using a computer, without hiring my device. Exposed installer installed as well, working perfectly. Okay, guys, I will start from you. Hope this video helped you out. If this video helped you out, please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. I leave a notification to get notified about new video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.